Let's do a Target haul. It's 9.52 and it is 95 degrees out. Today is gonna go up to 108 degrees. 112 on Friday and Saturday, so that's gonna be fun. I wanted to go to this farmer's market, but I also don't want to, um, you know, burn to a crisp. This is the cold bandana that my husband got for Milo. Unfortunately, the options were pink or blue. So Milo would have had a neutral color if it wasn't for that, but I think this works really well for him. We just wet it. I also keep it in the fridge. So it is extra cold for him when we're outside, you know, in the hundred something degree weather. Because I don't want my boy to overheat. Guys, little booties here. I've showed these before. I like these a lot. I feel like they're well made. Um, he is a lot better in walking with them. It's really funny to see his shoes next to ours. Like this is my husband's shoe. Oh, freaking cute. Anyways, let's get them on. Can you help me? Oh, thank you. Thank you for giving me your paw, honey bun. I wonder if he knows why I'm putting these on or if he just thinks it's annoying. Are you looking at yourself? We got everything on. Cold bandana on. Got all of his booties on. Ready to go, honey bun? It's a lot better. He walks kind of slow. It's only like 9 something, almost 10 o'clock. But this is so hot. Look, it's growing. Definitely no more fungus nests. The mosquito bits and this sticky trap definitely did the trick. The Monsera Deliciosa, you can see the two leaves here, and I tied it together with an old rubber band. I want to do better with this one in terms of trying to tame it because at our old place, it started growing outwards. I couldn't bend it back because it was so mature that it would snap if I tried to do so. It's growing right there. It just likes to lay on my butt. This is a great angle. Fakes and boxes. It's easy. A lot of planter options in here. I like that one. Do you want any other It's what we used to have our hexagon shelves. I don't think I'm gonna get hexagon shelves again, but it is nostalgic. Feels really cheap though. I'm in like the baby aisle right now. It's like all the kids stuff. I'm sweating so much around the mouth area. <laughs> Let's do a Target haul. So first things first, I got Dr. Bronner's. This is my favorite castle soap. I use this for all around the house and one of these lasts me forever. And this is the lavender scent. I've never had the lavender it's sealed. I can't smell it. I tried so many different scents of this. I tried the mint eucalyptus rose. So next I got a refill of this Sunbum SPF 50. I got a glass cuticle tool because I've been doing the dip nails lately and it kind of separates from the end even though I don't get it on my skin but it's because I don't really do cuticle care, which is important. So I want my dip to last longer, so that's why I got that. This glass one is pretty. I like glass tools because it, it's not as harsh. This is like not a glamorous thing. I got head and shoulders clarifying shampoo lately. My shampoo, um, even if it's like a nicer salon quality one, sometimes in the back of my head, it gets like waxy and gross even right after I shower. And it's from Build Up, and I really need a clarifying shampoo, so that's why I got that. I got some cuticle oil. This is from Ella and Mila. 
there. When I was in the tea aisle, I grabbed chamomile because I wanted something to drink at night. I don't remember if I actually like chamomile tea, but we'll see. And then my husband and I have been obsessed with, I guess it's the London Fog, but Earl Grey lattes. So I got Earl Grey tea, I think it's delicious. So I've been drinking that every day. I look forward to it almost as much as my morning coffee, but nothing really beats coffee. What else? Oh yeah, no, my husband got some other stuff. That's the Target haul. Where are we going? Oh, potato, potato barn. barn. This is a different location than the other one. So yeah, we just want to check out because they'll have different stuff. I already see something interesting up front. <laughs> to see something interesting. Poor little kids on a leash. There was this nice rug in there. And it was big. I think it was like a 9 by 12 rug. And I didn't have my glasses on, so I didn't. I couldn't really see the price. I thought it said one thousand two hundred ninety-five, and then I realized it was twelve thousand something. That, I think that place is good for home decor pieces. Some of their other stuff is very, very expensive, like shockingly expensive. Going home is too hot. We just got home, and it's now noon. It's really hot outside. I think it's over a hundred now, and. I am gonna make a London fog. Shoot, we're running low on oat milk. This is Earl Grey tea that I steeped a couple days ago. And I basically just fill it up in this jar. I like how mason jars label on the side. So I put it up to four cups. And I normally have three tea bags. Wait for it to cool down and then I put it in the fridge. I leave it in the fridge until I make my London Fogs. Why did I just take this out? That fridge doesn't have an ice maker. And the fridge that we brought with us from California is still wrapped up. And that one has an ice maker so we've been having to do it the old school way. You put like two pieces each. Two pieces each in here, and then this is the milk frother. I really like this one. I'm glad I did, I did not get the handheld one because this one's really nice. This is the Planet Oat Oat Milk Creamer in Sweet Cream. This one's this one froths up really nicely, and I also have the same brand for the oat milk. I fill it to the minimum line with creamer. Then I, there's not much left in here, so I'm gonna have to add more creamer than usual. So then I, yeah, there's like nothing in there. Should have gotten some from Target. I normally mix just a little bit of creamer and then I do the rest of how, whatever ratio I want of milk um, with the oat milk because I don't wanna drink too much creamer. Today, we're out. So I'm gonna have to add a lot more creamer than I normally would. Oh yeah, something else I forgot to mention, when I steep this, like when it's still hot, I add stevia to it. So I'll add four tablespoons. You could do a lot more if you like it sweeter. Okay, so then I just put it on the cold setting. And it's going right there. That means the uh, milk is done. There's a little bit over a cup of tea in each. You can see how frothy it is. I'm just gonna pour it over top. That looks so good. I don't know why I waited so long to get a frother. In the morning, I just drink. I just drink my coffee without frothing any milk because I drink it hot and I don't really feel a need. But for cold drinks. It's definitely necessary. Got my reusable metal straw here. I like to drink it with a straw, but my husband doesn't, so that's it. That's how you make it. It's 
so good. So I've done the same thing with chai before, and it's good too. I just think Earl Grey is a lot better. Uh, thanks for watching my mom's video. Bye. <laughs>